While opinion has been divided on whether the October polls should take place, the violence which swept through KwaZulu Natal and Gauteng may have tipped the scale towards postponing the elections in the public discourse. Scenes of thousands of unmasked looters jostling in shopping malls may have changed the trajectory of the pandemic, according to some. I don't think they should do any elections at all because we can see like what's happening in the country. And when we have to take that into consideration, I think it, we have to wait. What are we going to vote for? I don't understand it. I, I don't support it. I don't think we need to vote anymore because we are not getting what we are asking for. Because government is not coming to the party. If the numbers are growing, they need to comply and say no. We, we have to, you know, we have to postpone everything. Political parties have differed on the issue. The ANC is proposing that the polls be extended by one to six months from the current date of October the 27th. There needs to be a review of the timetable of the IEC. Because even though we would like to have elections in, in October the 27th, it will depend on whether or not this wave continues way beyond August. Backing the call for postponement is the EFF. Party leader Julius Malema says the local elections should be deferred until April next year. Under any level, uh, former uh, Deputy Chief Justice, elections will not be free and fair because you cannot curtail the movements of politicians. April, because we must give ourselves sufficient time between your report and the next elections to check if the behavior of the a uh, pandemic is being put under control. But the DA is of an opposing view. The party says everything must be done to stick to the regularity of elections as prescribed by the Constitution. Our Constitution demand of us at this stage to all first try and make the elections work. And only if we get closer to this 27th of October and we have failed, could we look at our constitutional court and our constitution squarely in the eye and say, now we need assistance. The rollout of the country's vaccination campaign has gained momentum in recent months, giving those such as the DA hope that the IEC will keep to its schedule. However, according to some health NGOs, the limited supply of vaccines to developing countries must be factored in. We do warn that the situation is dire. Uh, and we, it's dire because we have limited vaccine supplies and limited ability to do proper ramped up testing. Uh, and this means that some of the people who are eligible to vote may not even be vaccinated or fully vaccinated by the time of the elections in October. The crucial voter registration weekend has been postponed to the 31st of July and the 1st of August. Whilst the Commission has launched online voter registration that will allow new voters to register and existing voters to amend or update their details online. The fate of voters now lies with the Electoral Commission as they will have the final say as to whether or not elections will take place this year. Natasha Piri, SABC News, Johannesburg.